Hey, what's up everybody? This is Symbiote Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Iron Man 2 Repulsor Power Iron Man Mark VI. So here we have the Repulsor Powered Iron Man out of his box and standing alone without his accessories. And as you can see, pretty good size. If you put him next to the 3-inch Mark VI Iron Man, you can see that there's definitely a noticeable size difference there. And I think this figure is at the right size for what it is. The detail on the Repulsor Power Iron Man is actually really, really nice. As you can see, all the gold paint application along with the red on the wrists and the ribs, the abdomen area, the nice blue on the arc reactor. The head sculpt is really, really nice on this figure, as you can see. If you look at it on the side, you can see all the lines and indents and everything that just makes the helmet look really nice. The shoulder pads are actually on the shoulder and not connected or they don't fall off or anything which is really nice but just all the detail on this figure the feet look really sturdy um, they're not too bulky and it just looks really really nice as you can see there's one open hand and one fist so really really good as you can see on the back there are quite a few holes with screws in them but that's just to hold all the electronics in place so not too bad but this detailing on this figure is just really nice I cannot get over the detail in the head it just looks really, really cool. The eyes look amazing. I love the blue in the eyes. Even the detail in the hands with the repulsors is just really nice as well. Like I said, the blue that they've been using on these figures is just really, really nice. Another thing I want to point out is the red and the gold both have a really nice shine to the paint, and I like that. Anything glossy that is supposed to be glossy, I really like, and it is. As you can see, it just shines and shimmers in the light, so that's really, really cool. The articulation on this figure is slightly limited, but due to the electronics, I mean, I guess that's kind of a pass, but the head can go up and down, as you can see. It can wobble side to side, rotate 360 degrees, so a fair amount of articulation in the head. Actually, really good articulation in the head. The arms can rotate 360 degrees. They can't go out and in, but they can bend at the elbow which is kind of nice, and the wrists can rotate 360 degrees. No torso or any articulation in the main body part, but that's because the electronics, which we'll get to in a second. The legs can go front, kind of back, but not really. As you can see, they get blocked by that. But they can bend at the knee, and that's it. So the legs don't have too good of articulation, but it does have to hold up this whole figure, so what can you really expect? The accessories that came with Repulsor Iron Man is this big hunk of, I, I don't know, it's just a lot of plastic with red and gold paint on it, and you have this kind of claw missile that shoots out, and uh, I don't really see the point of that, and then this other missile with actually a really nice translucent blue piece at the end, but I really don't see the point in this, why would he have this, this does not make any sense. Along with this, um, missiles, that's my best guess. Um, it's not even like you can remove them either. It might look like you can, but you can't, and I don't see the point. And how you're supposed to put them on here is you put the missile pod thing over here on this arm, and then you take this thing, you're supposed to hook it up over here. And then I guess he shoots stuff. I really don't know. This is a stupid accessory. They should have had... I don't know, they shouldn't even have had anything. Maybe some missiles that you can launch off something else, but not guns that attach. This isn't even in the movie. This is ridiculous. I mean, the only good thing I can say is that the springs on these are nice, but that's it. I'm taking them off for good. I don't want this. Or this. This is stupid. This doesn't even fire. So that these get points marked off for the lame accessory. But the figure itself, like I said, it's nice. It's nice without the accessories, so I don't recommend using these. They're stupid and pointless. So on to the main gimmick of the Repulsor Power Iron Man, which is all the lights and sounds um, that come with it. So to activate it, you just push his middle button, which is his arc reactor, and it'll light up, and then you hear his phrases that he has, which he has quite a few. I am Iron Man! Iron Man armor, combat ready! Repulsor power! Convert all power to Unibeam. 
So the reason that this Iron Man has so many phrases is because they took out the flight sounds that they had with the first movie Repulsor Iron Man, and if we compare the two next to each other, as you can see, there is a size difference with that, and the first movie version is taller than the second movie version. Um, but not as good as articulation with this first movie toy. Um, it's more bulky. I like the second movie. I like this one a lot better because it looks more sleek, and the paint job is better, and... The head looks a lot nicer. The only thing I'd want from this one is the uh, flight sounds when you push down on the heel. But that's it. So overall, I guess I'd have to say that I like this Repulsor Iron Man over the first movie Iron Man. Even though you don't get the flight sounds, like I said. But this one, the paint is a lot nicer. It's a nice, glossy paint. Um, the eyes and then the repulsors on the hands look really nice. I like the triangular arc reactor. I just, even the articulation, everything on this figure is just better than the first, I guess, which they would have to do as an improvement. Um, the accessories, I really didn't like. I think they could have done without those and maybe included something else. I don't know what, but even not anything and maybe dropped the price from about $5, so it's it's usually 20 I think they could have made it 15 without the accessories. But, I mean, I guess it's kind of fun to have them for uh, kids who will be playing with this figure. But overall, like I said, get this Iron Man, definitely, if you are looking for a nice display piece to have on your shelf. If you're looking just for something small, get the regular 3-inch figures, but for $20, this isn't too bad. But that's it for my video review on Iron Man 2 Movie Repulsor Power Iron Man figure. Check out my other Iron Man toy reviews along with all my other videos, and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. I hope I'll be seeing you all next time.